Did you know that falls are the leading cause of death in the construction industry? Falls from ladders make up a third of those fatalities. According to the Consumer Protection Commission, more than 90,000 people receive emergency room treatment for ladder-related injuries every year. We know the physical act of climbing a ladder isn't difficult. A monkey can climb a ladder. A three-year-old can climb a ladder. You've probably climbed ladders many times in your life. This video will discuss how to climb a ladder safely. The information you hear today is based on OSHA Standard 29, CFR 1910.25-27. Specifically, we'll discuss ladder setup, inspection, and how to climb safely. Let's start by talking about step ladders. A step ladder is a self-supporting ladder. This means that it doesn't need to be leaned against a wall or other vertical surface. In fact, leaning a step ladder against a vertical surface can provide a serious slip and fall hazard. Choose a step ladder that is no more than four feet shorter than the height you want to reach. When you set up a step ladder, always make sure that the ladder is fully opened and the hinge is locked. Have you ever sat on a lawn chair that wasn't fully opened? It results in an embarrassing collapse, and the same thing would apply if you were on a step ladder that wasn't fully opened. However, instead of embarrassment, you're risking serious injury and maybe some embarrassment too. Tap on the hinge of your ladder before you climb up to make sure it's locked. The second thing to consider when setting up a step ladder is the ground surface. You'll want to ensure that your ladder is on stable, even ground. Never set a step ladder on top of boxes, pallets, or any other item. You'll also want to make sure that the ground is clear of any oil, grease, or other slippery substances. Take a second to look at a step ladder that's set up properly. Think about the areas where you set up your ladder. Make sure you're not right in front of any doors or blind spots. If you must position your ladder in an inconvenient location, make sure that you've got cones or people around to alert passerby of your presence. Make sure any door that you are in front of is locked, blocked, or guarded. Now let's talk about straight ladders. Straight ladders include single section ladders as well as extension ladders. A straight ladder is not self-supporting. It must be leaned against a wall or another vertical surface. When setting up a straight ladder, the first thing to consider is the support of the rails. Always make sure that both rails are evenly supported at the top of your climbing surface. Propping a ladder up with only one rail supported will lead to the ladder twisting and a nasty fall. In some cases, your employer may want you to tie the top and bottom of the ladder to fixed points to keep it from sliding side to side or falling backward. After this video, make sure to ask your employer about a time when this might be appropriate and how to execute it. Just like a step ladder, it's important to place a straight ladder on a stable, even surface. Most straight ladders have grips on the feet to prevent sliding. Never prop a straight ladder on any surface except for the solid ground. Make sure that there are no cords or rocks under the feet and that the surface is dry and not slippery. Also check to make sure that your ladder is visible to a passerby and it's not blocking a door. If you must work in front of a door, make sure it's locked, blocked, or guarded. Another thing to consider when you set up a straight ladder is the height of the ladder. When portable ladders are used for access to an upper landing surface, the side rails must extend at least three feet above the upper landing surface. When an extension isn't possible, the ladder must be secured and a grasping device such as a grab rail must be provided to assist workers in mounting and dismounting the ladder. Take a minute to look at a straight ladder that's set up properly. Do you notice the angle away from the wall? OSHA recommends that you maintain at least a four to one ratio of ladder height to distance away from the vertical surface. For simplicity, let's pretend the ladder in this picture is 16 feet tall. If so, the feet of the ladder should be four feet away from the wall. Shoot to create an angle between the ladder and the ground that's about 75 degrees. A ladder set up closer to the vertical surface or further away poses a risk of a fall. Finally, don't tamper with your ladder. If it's too short or doesn't provide the right angle you need to work to the vertical, find another ladder. Adding additional parts or supports to a ladder is dangerous and could jeopardize your safety. To be compliant with OSHA, your employer uses ladders that meet OSHA standards for portable ladders. The last type of ladder we'll talk about is a fixed ladder. A fixed ladder is unique in that it's permanently attached to a structure, a building, or a piece of equipment. If you're required to use a fixed ladder at work, it's important to look for a few things. First, check for secure guardrails. 
In general, if the total length of the climb on a fixed ladder equals or exceeds 24 feet, the ladder must be equipped with safety devices like those shown above. If you notice any weakness or issues with the guardrails or cage, make sure to alert your supervisor immediately. Fixed ladders are often located outdoors or affixed to machinery. Because of this, they're exposed to more wear and tear than portable ladders. If you ever feel uncomfortable with the condition of a fixed ladder you need to climb, stay on the ground. Alert your supervisor immediately. Let's move on to ladder inspection. Before you climb, take 30 seconds to examine your ladder. This 30 second inspection could save your life. Just like people, ladders age and fall apart. Some do it more gracefully than others. Check these things before using your ladder. First, check side rails and rungs to make sure that they're undamaged. There's no material splintering, no cracks, no warping. Next, check the joints. Make sure that they're secure. Make sure the rungs and side rails are clean. There's no grease, oil, or other slippery substances. Especially if a ladder is a straight ladder, look for safety feet. Make sure that they're not cracked or in any way compromised. Look for a warning label. If you're using a step ladder, test the hinges and spreaders to make sure that they're functioning. And if you're using an extension ladder, check the pulleys, ropes, locks, and stops. If any of these items needs work, stay on the ground. Never climb a defective ladder. What's that? You'll be really careful. You have excellent balance. You're short on time. It doesn't matter if the ladder is defective. Do not climb. Instead, make sure you label it defective and place it somewhere to receive maintenance. After this video, discuss the proper procedure for handling a defective ladder with your supervisor. Okay, finally let's talk about how to climb a ladder safely. The first thing to think about is your body position. You always want your eyes, and the rest of your body, facing toward the ladder. Your body should be between the ladder's rails. You know you're reaching too far to the side if your belt buckle is no longer between the rails. If this is the case, climb down the ladder and reposition it. Leaning too far over to the side can shift the ladder's balance and cause it to fall. Make sure that you're not climbing too high on the ladder. Check the warning label on your ladder, but a general rule of thumb is to stay off of the top three rungs of a straight ladder and the top two steps of a step ladder. Many ladders also have bucket shelves. Remember that these are meant for buckets or tools, not people. Maintain at least three points of contact when you climb. We're talking both of your feet and one of your hands. Even when you've reached your desired height, it's important to maintain three-point contact. Never say, look mom, no hands, when you're on a ladder. It's a lot easier to maintain three-point contact if you're not carrying anything in your hands. Instead, use a tool belt to carry materials to the top. If the materials that you need don't fit in your belt, use a rope to hoist them to the top. Finally, grasp the rungs instead of the rails when you climb. If you look closely, you'll see that the guy in our picture needs a reminder about this one. It's been scientifically proven that a forward grasp on the rung is much stronger than a side grasp on the rail. Lastly, make sure that your hands and shoes are not sticky, slippery, or covered in anything that will prevent you from maintaining good contact with the ladder. A muddy boot can mean a big injury. Take a second before you climb to check the bottoms of your shoes for any gunk. All right, ready to test what you've learned? The worker in this last picture is making a few bad choices. Can you identify the areas where he needs to improve? If you really want to test yourself, pause the video and answer. I noticed that the ladder has been tampered with. Some supports have been added to the top. I also noticed that the top of the ladder is not securely positioned against the vertical support. The man climbing the ladder is leaning too far to the side. And that drill, how did he get that drill up there? I don't see a tool belt. His ladder also seems to be set up in front of an entrance to the building. We can't see the bottom, but let's hope that he's got someone down there or some cones or signage to alert those that might try to use the door of his presence. Thanks for listening. If you have any further questions about ladder safety, make sure that you ask your supervisor. Your safety is their number one priority. Happy climbing.